Sarah, I'm a sewing tutor here at The Makery and today I'm going to show you how to make a lovely tie. So you'll need three quarters of a metre of outer fabric. I've picked a nice small print cotton um, for my outer. You'll need some lightweight um, iron-on interfacing, some lining fabric. I've just um, found a scrap here and just used that because you don't need very much. Um, you don't need to have a sewing machine for this project, um, but you can use one for one step otherwise it's all hand sewing. Um, you will also need your tools, your scissors, your pins, your needles, thread, that kind of thing. Um, and then you'll need a pattern as well, so a tie pattern. We've got one that you can download um, if you click the link below if you'd like a PDF. Otherwise you can buy one on our online shop if you prefer a paper pattern. Now there are five um, pieces for the pattern. Um, you'll need to cut out two pieces for the um, lining like this and then there's three pieces for the tie, the main tie, one, two, three, like that. So I've already interfaced these, so I've ironed it on first, then I place them on and cut them out. Remember that these need to be cut out on the bias. It does say that on the pattern, but it's an easy mistake not to do that. So once you've cut all those ones out, um, you will just need to start to construct it. Okay, so we need to sew these pieces together. So there's three for the outer pieces like this. And I would pin and then sew them together. This is the bit that I'll do on the sewing machine, but you can match the notches because what you'll do is make one long continuous um, tie. Great, so as you can see, I have now sewn the three outer fabric pieces together, forming what looks like uh, quite a wide tie, just like that. I then just need to trim off these um, little edges that stick out here. Um, they're bound to do that, so don't worry when that happens. So um, I've also opened up the seam like this with the iron. It just makes it nice and neat. And I'm just gonna clip down here. Then what you're going to do is move on to the lining pieces. So there are my lining pieces there. And all you need to do um, with the iron and ironing board, I'll just show you here, is you're gonna fold up the tip by a centimeter like this and then you'll fold up each of these diagonal edges here also by a centimetre. can be a little bit fiddly but just persist with it like that and then you want to give it a good good press and that is called a mitered corner. You're going to be doing that to each of the um, points so of the lining like that and then you're going to do that to the outer fabric as well. So all four pieces. So you can see here that I have ironed all four of my points and um, creating four mitered corners just like this. Um, so like I said nice and sharp and what I then want to do is um, sew the tips together here here on all four of them just to make them really nice and neat. So you just want to hand stitch that. Um, a ladder stitch is really good because you don't see the stitching. Um, I'll just go on to doing that now. So as you can see, I've just hand stitched the points, all four of them, just like that. Um, just a quick ladder stitch to keep them in place. So the next thing I'll do is some more hand sewing. Um, I'm going to place the larger um, lining piece of fabric onto the larger of the outer fabric. I'm just going to place it on so that there's about two millimetres all the way around. Can you see here? There. And the same with the small one, too, like that. The edges should match up like that. And then I'm going to pin that down and then simply hand stitch the two diagonal edges here. So what I've done here is sewn down these two edges just with a ladder stitch so you can't see it nice and neat and I've repeated that on both ends so the lining is now attached to the outer fabric. So the next step is to iron in all the way down the tie a centimetre down the two very long edges okay centimetre like that and like that so press that and then you're going to iron those both in to the middle so you're going to pop a few pins in there once you bind it okay so as you can see all I've now done is ironed in a centimetre all the way down the two long edges and ironed in again where they meet just like that just so they meet nice and neatly. I've done that all the way down the tie like that and 
the last thing is to simply sew that up. Now it does take quite a few minutes to do this, um, so I would just take your time, have a good cup of tea, um, but you want to ladder stitch all the way down there, okay, and then that'll be your tie complete. And there you have it. So I've just um, completed a ladder stitch all the way down this middle seam here, um, making it look nice and neat and you can't see the stitching at all. Um, right, it's ready to wear. There we go. Good luck with your ties. Um, thanks very much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe, comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And visit our website, themakery.co.uk. Uh, make sure you go on there to get one of those patterns as well. Thanks, bye.